morning guys. So this is what I'm eating for breakfast today. So I have some Outfit oatmeal. Um, it's just this one. I use one packet of that. And then I put like half a scoop of plus protein. This is a salted caramel one. I think it's really good flavor, you know. And then I add like half of a tablespoon of my PB2 in it. Just makes it taste really good. And then I add some syrup to it. This is the sugar-free one. Um, I don't normally use this one, but I'm out of my Walden Farms one, so I'm using that for now. And then I know it's kind of weird, but I add pink Himalayan salt to it. Um, just for like that sweet and salty flavor. I don't know, I think it tastes so good. So yeah, and then I have my egg whites with one egg yolk in it, and then some coffee, of course. And yeah, that's what I eat for breakfast, typically. Um, but yeah, and then I just mix it all together, and it tastes so good. What's up guys? So in the next clips you're going to see me doing some sumo deadlifts and basically why I prefer to do these rather than conventional deadlifts is just because it works out your hips a lot and it's a lot of um, like glute work. So some tips basically on how to get a really good sumo deadlift is first of all just to make sure that your stance is correct. So you want to make sure that your toes are pointed outward. And you also want to make sure that you are right behind the bar. Like you want to make sure that your shins are literally almost touching the bar. <laughs> and also another good tip is just to make sure that you're leading through your hips. You kind of want to pretend that there's like a string attached to your tailbone and it's just pulling you straight up, making sure that you are contracting your glutes and your legs and making sure that everything is really tight and firm and aligned with each other. Another good tip is to make sure that you don't round your back in any way. And that can definitely lead to some kind of an injury. And I know it's kind of hard to prevent that from happening, especially when you're trying to go heavy, because I kind of have the tendency to do that. But I really try hard not to, you know, you know, round your back. That's really bad for you. Um, but yeah, that's all the clips that I have for you guys today. Um, the next clip you're going to see me doing is deadlifting 225. And that'll be pretty much it. <laughs> that'll be the end of the video. So thank you guys for listening to me talk. Thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe for more, and I will talk to you guys later.